What do you do when you have a large commercial property and you have negative slope and you have water coming off the parking lot, finding its way into the building? Well, we're going to show you exactly what we did here. We're going to show you the anatomy of the system. I'm going to take you through it and I'm going to explain it to you. We didn't bust out the concrete. We didn't put in new concrete. It wasn't needed. We went ahead and we put a pipe underneath this entranceway. Now you can see the old 12 by 12 basin. We removed that along with the four inch pipe. It wasn't doing the job. We could have ran two four inch pipes and that probably would have been the fix. We have a 20 inch round basin that takes a six inch pipe and I really wanted to use that on this job. So I'm gonna show you how we went ahead and we put open French drains on both sides of this entranceway, along with two 20 inch round catch basins to grab up all the sheet water. Make sure you're always packing stone or the virgin material that you removed when you went underneath concrete around the pipe, depending on the system, what material you'd use. In this case, we have an open French drain collecting water. We go into a 20 inch round basin that's catching surface water. We have that set just below the concrete a couple of inches so that we grab up all that bulk water coming down that hill. And then we go underneath the concrete apron with all that water. It then passes through another 20 inch round basin and a second open French drain before it reaches our discharge line now we wanted to use an open French drain. We did not want to grow grass over this. We did not want landscape on top of this. We do wrap this and we also wrap the top. I will show that. I'll show you guys how we do that. When we have basins in place to grab up all the bulk water and all the sheet water and all the surface water, I want the open French drain because it takes in water faster than any other French drain. I want it to just have stone on top because water just goes right through stone right through the voids of stone, uninterrupted. Now this is a massive French drain. It's a giant vein of stone. We're using one and a half inch round rock. We're using the four ounce FDM double punched drainage fabric. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut it out around the basin. We don't want contaminants to get in our French drain system, so we wanna keep that portion of it completely wrapped. The reason why this works so well if you put an open French drain around concrete and it's two inches below the surface of the concrete, no water can build up on the concrete. I don't care how bad this pour is. I don't care if this slab settled. It's not going to make a difference. I have a drain on both sides of this piece of concrete. Water just falls into the stone, into the system. When water can't collect and build up on concrete, it can't flood inside the building. It's that simple. It was a beautiful piece of concrete. It wasn't broken. We weren't about to break it to fix this drainage problem. It was easily remedied. We do this all the time. We put open French drains around patios, around driveways, any concrete that happens to be shedding water towards a building or structure, we just go ahead and we put a drain along the concrete, below the concrete, so the water can't build up on the concrete. All right, so let's check out the system. We're coming down out of the parking lot, down the staircase, you see the two 20 inch round basins on each side of the entranceway with the two open French drains. There's the anatomy. Wanted you guys to see a shot of it before we went ahead and we burrito wrapped it, top dressed it. I also want this to be a reminder to all the contractors. When you work around commercial buildings, everything gets bigger. The gas lines get bigger, the electric feed. And usually when you call to have these buildings marked, it's not marked right. They don't know how to mark these commercial jobs. We find so much when it comes to unmarked utilities. And like I said, the gas lines and the electric lines, they're big stuff, guys. So just be aware of that. Commercial job sites, you want a spotter in the trench no matter what. All right, let's take a look at the finished product. All top dressed really nice with inch and a half round rock to hide those basins because they're kind of an eyesore. Went ahead and put the stone right over top of them. Really nice clean job. 
The grass was real thin here, so we couldn't cut it off with the sod cutter and save it like we typically do. It just fell apart. So we just went ahead and put some grass seed and straw in. Give us a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this. And if you have a specific video you would like me to make, please leave that recommendation and request in the comments. All right, everybody. Until that next video.